Welcome back to HATV. I'm Paul Malkmus. And I'm Ann Malkmus. And today we're going to discuss water. Distilled water, particularly. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know, our bodies are comprised of, what, 70% water? That's right. I mean, just uh, <clears throat> we're comprised of so much water. And uh, yet we don't consume that much water day-to-day -day basis. And it's real important for us to consume water. First of all, we need to consume a lot of water, and it better be good quality water. Mm -hmm. So much of the water, especially if it comes through a city or municipal um, source, it's full of chlorine, mm -hmm. it uh, has fluoride in it, and other, other toxins, really, to our body. They are. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that what we're consuming is a good, clean, pure water. We've done a lot of research. Through the years, there has been so much effort placed on what is good quality water? Mm -hmm. What does our body react best to? And we truly have found that distilled water is the best water for you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you know, say, well, you know, there's no minerals in distilled water, and we're not drinking the water for the mineral. We're drinking it for the hydration. And um, a lot of people think that distilled water is acidic. It's actually neutral, um, but it quickly gravitates to whatever it's around. And so if it's an, around an acidic environment, it'll turn slightly acidic. Once you put it in the body or even put some baking soda in there, it'll quickly go to an alkaline. And so it's, um, it's neither um, acidic nor alkaline when it first comes out, but it gravitates toward whatever it's put in next to. So we consume a, a, a substantial amount of distilled water, not only just from the glass to drink, but believe it or not, all of our vegetables and fruits have distilled water in them. Mm -hmm. So when we consume those, we consume distilled water in them. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the plant juices really are the purest water because the roots act as that filtering system. And so it filters out the impurity. It converts the minerals that are in the ground that are difficult for the body to assimilate into a mineral that the body can assimilate easily. Mm -hmm. And so the root system in the plant juices are, is really the best water that we can consume. And on the Hallelujah program, we consume sometimes as many as 16 to 32 ounces of freshly extracted juice every single day. Mm -hmm. And because we do, think of the amounts of distilled water that we're drinking. That's a lot of juice. It is a lot of juice. It's a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So the distilled water um, that's not in our plants mm -hmm. um, is, is similar to if you had natural rainwater to where with, that didn't go through all the pollutants and all the pollution coming back into the atmosphere. Must have been during Adam and Eve. I know, it's a long <laughs> time ago. But it walks through that same process where it's evaporated, the water is evaporated out, and then it's condensed and drops back down. And it's a pure, completely pure water without any minerals. And while we want minerals, a lot of the minerals that are in our normal water are of a form that's difficult for the body to assimilate. And they actually need to attach an enzyme to it to even start to assimilate it. Otherwise, they go into crevices and places in your body and they just sit there. Mm -hmm. Now, the molecular structure of distilled water is such that it, that it helps to flush the body of the toxins and the buildups, as you're saying. And so when somebody goes on the Howley diet, we recommend that they are on distilled water for three months, but we'd prefer even six months. We believe that having, having your, if you're on the, on the Hallelujah diet, you need to give your body the time for it to be able to rid itself of those years and years and years worth of toxins that have developed, whether it's because we ate poorly or we drank water that wasn't real good. Mm -hmm. And so we need that time, as much as six months, to be able to, to purge our bodies using the water as, as our form of helping to move, remove all those toxins. We've heard of people tell us that they had arthritis and it wasn't until they started drinking the distilled water that they actually started seeing relief from it, even though they had changed their diet previously. Mm -hmm. And it's because that distilled water acts as that, that uh, cleanser within the body that helps to flush some of those toxins that are built up out. Please don't be, be afraid that being on distilled water as well as being on the Hallelujah diet and drinking the juices for the six month period of time. In, in other words, that's really the best thing for you. That's, that's probably the missing component in some people who feel like they haven't quite gotten to where they need to be mm -hmm. on our program. Many times we ask them, what kind of water are you drinking? And are you drinking distilled water? And you wouldn't think that something so simple as what type of water you drink would make that much difference, but it does make a big difference. It will. Mm -hmm. And if we're drinking just standard tap water, then it's going to, you know, the, the, the core, there's chlorine in there, there's the fluoride in there, the minerals are the wrong type, and then the molecular structure isn't such that's going to help to cleanse and purge the body. Now, after the six months, 
If you feel so compelled, you may stay on the distilled water. Many of us uh -huh. have been on distilled water for 10, 15 years, and we're doing very well. But some people maybe feel that they want to do something besides the distilled water. Uh -huh. We have a couple of options for you there as well. Uh -huh. Well, Hal Yakers has a product called WaterMax, and it, it actually goes in and not only remineralizes, it remineralizes in a way that um, brings in minerals that allows the body to um, assimilate without using the enzymes, but it also um, is alkaline, so it brings that water up into a higher alkaline range. Now, we don't want our water to be too alkaline, but by adding just a few drops into our water, it adjusts into that alkaline um, pH range. And another option, of course, is reverse osmosis. I know that a lot of people have reverse osmosis uh, machines in, their, in mm -hmm. their home, and we aren't opposed to it. One thing we do want you to be concerned about, though, is how frequently you change your filters because reverse osmosis is water is only as good as the filter it goes through. Mm -hmm. So it's real important to do the maintenance on the reverse osmosis units um, because the bacteria will build up in there and then it'll actually be worse than the tap water yeah. if, if we're not careful. So it definitely needs to be maintained. But understanding that the reverse osmosis um, doesn't have that stru same molecular structure that distilled water does, it doesn't do an as, as effective job of removing the toxins from the body as distilled water would do. And there have been people who've actually attempted to go back to reverse osmosis and stay on the Hallelujah diet, and they didn't have quite the effect that they wanted on their, on their particular arthritic problems. Mm -hmm. So they actually went back to the distilled water. Yeah. Um, people who, who use reverse osmosis, they also put some of the water max in there as well, um, just to increase the mineral, the healthy mineral content within that uh, RO'd water. Mm -hmm. Good. So <coughs> water is an important topic and um, brings up a lot of questions. And so we trust that we've given you some information that you can use today. Uh, this is AM and PM. We'll see you next time on HATV. Mm -hmm.